Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otis channel. If today is your first day watching me, you are welcome. Please hit the button that says subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you'll be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. If you're a returning fan, family, subscriber, thank you so, so much. I really, really love and appreciate you. Please do not forget to share comment and like my videos all right guys so today's edition i'm gonna be talking about the kidneys uh-huh what are the kidneys their functions the diseases and complications associated with the kidneys and how best can we take care of our kidneys all right, so the kidneys are two reddish brown bean shaped organs. Okay, they are found in the vertebrate, just our left and right of the uh, retroperitoneal space. They are about five inches in length and about 12 centimeters if you have to read it in CM. So these kidneys receive blood through paired arteries and the blood exit the kidney, the kidneys through paired veins okay so let's look at the functions of the kidneys the major functions of the kidney are to remove waste and unnecessary uh, extra fluid from the body they also make more space for essential minerals and nutrients they remove harmful acids and toxins that are produced by the cells they maintain perfect balance of essential salts and minerals uh, such as calcium sodium potassium they also make essential hormones that control our blood pressure develop red blood cells as well as keep bones strong and healthy what are the causes of kidney diseases or malfunctions of the kidney? This involves diabetes, high blood pressure, protein in the urine for a very long time, unhealthy lifestyles such as uh, drug abuse, smoking, alcoholism, others are urinary tract infection, congenital disorders, and kidney stones. What are the signs and symptoms that we have kidney issues? Tiredness or being fatigued or having less energy than normal. That means something is going on. There's a lot of toxic and impurities built up in our blood that can cause all that because the kidney is not functioning well and filtering the way it should. They have trouble sleeping, uh huh, due to toxic built up again, dry, itchy skin. That's uh, skin irritation. You have acne, rashes, and your skin is itching so bad. So, this is uh, related to toxins built up that have surfaced to the skin and that will cause you that skin issues then you need to urinate more often even not much but you feel that urgency to go and urinate especially at night time so there is blood in your urine so whenever you pee examine your urine look at your urine so if you have blood in your urine yes that means your kidneys are not filtering another one is foamy urine if your urine is foamy for me than normal you know the yeah, you have too much uh, bubbles in your urine. That's your urine is very, very foamy. So this is excessive bubbling in your urine that takes time to go away when you finish peeing and the bubbles are still there or you have to flush the toilet many times before the bubbles can finally flush out. There is a problem, okay? Then another thing is persistent puffiness around your eyes, okay? So if you look at your eye, you see water bag, it looks puffy. That means something is wrong. There is a dim edema around your eyes that means your eyes are puffy or retaining fluid you need to go see your doctor about your kidneys others include swollen around your feet and ankles if you look at your lower extremities you see that they are swollen that means they are retaining fluid there is edema going on that means the sodium that is supposed to be filtered are uh, being retained in your lower extremities sodium something like salt so that's why you have that swelling on your lower extremities okay then poor appetite and loss of weight so you're not eating well you don't even feel like eating okay again this is due to the toxins that are built up in your blood and they will cause you to uh to, to uh, have lack of appetite. So again, you have muscle cramping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially on the lower extremities, your muscles are twitching, they are cramping, they are it kind of being so uncomfortable. Yeah, this is due to electrolyte imbalance, something like calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, all these are imbalanced due to malfunction of your kidney and that will cause your muscles to cramp. I even 
painful okay then another thing is bilateral lower back pain so on your lower back because the kidneys are, are there right there at the lower back side on both of them so that's why you have that pain due to inflammation going on maybe your kidneys are swollen or maybe your kidneys are having difficulties you're gonna have pain at the bilateral lower back then another thing is breathing difficulties this is related to retention of fluid okay so your kidneys are not uh, uh, filtering the water that's the fluid the way they should be and the toxins so the fluid are built up you're not urinating the much you should be urinating so it will cause the fluid to build up in your system especially around your lungs area and you're going to be having shortness of breath and difficulty breathing okay then another thing is metallic taste in your mouth so this is due to uremia that built up in the blood so it's gonna taste like you have uh metal like you're tasting rusty metal in your mouth again that's uh, due to built up of uremia in the blood chills okay so these chills sometimes are as a result of anemia because the the, the blood system filtering in the kidneys are not functioning well so it will cause you anemia that's the drop in red blood cells and this is going to cause you to be shivering even when the room is hot when the weather is hot you will still be shivering okay so if you touch your nose your nose your ears your hands your feet they still feel cold they are so cold colder than other parts of your body again this is a part of our kidney issue another one is sexual health problems you have fatigue and depression and other problems related to kidney failure so all these ones for the women they feel low libido and uh, kind of vaginal dryness for the men they feel reduced sexual desire erectile dysfunction and ejaculation issues okay so so how do we keep our kidneys healthy First of all, if you're obese or chubby, a little overweight, you got to lose weight. You need to keep normal body weight, okay? Then another one, get active. You're going to get involved in physical activities. Exercise, no matter how little, at least 45 minutes a day. Being at work is not exercise because some people say, oh, I move around all day at my job. Mm -mm, that's not exercise. You need to be intentional when you exercise. Then another one, quit smoking. If you smoke, drink, or uh, if you use drug, you need to stop all of those and live a healthy lifestyle. Then another thing, get annual kidney checkup. Go to your doctor. Let them, when you do your annuals, let them check your kidney function, okay? Then another one, take medications as ordered and uh, directed. So don't take overdose or more than the doctors ask you to take because some of these medications are dangerous to the kidney. They are filtered through the, ki through the kidney. So if you take a lot of them, they can damage your kidney. So stick to your doctor's orders. Then another one, keep blood pressure within normal limit between 120 over 80 and 140 over 90 or as targeted by your doctor because your doctor knows you one-on-one -on -one and they know where they want your blood pressure to be. Then another one, stay within targeted blood sugar level. If you're diabetic or even if you're not diabetic, make sure you maintain adequate blood pressure sugar okay then another one stay with targeted cholesterol range no more cholesterol range stay within that range if you have cholesterol issue hyperlipidemia then make sure that you stay on your medications as the doctor ordered it and always test the levels okay then eat lots of fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. drink water lots of water a lot of water then another thing avoid any condition that will expose your kidney to danger such as uh, urinary tract infection taking ibuprofen naproxen and certain antibiotics those are dangerous to your kidney so again that's why you need to stay according to your doctor's orders then another thing mm -hmm, you know all these herbal supplements be careful with them be very, very careful. Some of them are dangerous to your kidneys because they are being filtered through your kidney. They can zap your kidney to zero. So that's why you need to be very, very careful with herbal medications. No matter what you think they are curing you, they can as well kill your kidneys, okay? Then another thing, even when you do x-rays, be careful with dyes, okay? So if you have kidney issues already, do not use dyes during x-ray or during CT scan, MRI, 
please be careful. Let your doctor know what you are going through and what you're feeling so that they will give you the best directions ever. All right, guys. So what are the food items that will help us to keep our kidneys in check, that will help us to keep our kidneys healthy? All right. So first of all, you got to drink a lot of water to filter and cleanse your kidneys okay another one another food items colical flowers blueberries strawberry red grapes egg whites garlic olive oil fish kale spinach sweet potatoes mushrooms cranberries cabbages bell peppers all of this will help to keep our kidneys in check and the other tips i have already given so thank you guys for watching another beautiful edition of annie otto's channel please do not forget to share like and mm -hmm, love my videos okay bye guys love you bye guys stay safe